Sarah. Today, I'm going to show you, show you the best and worst fidgets to bring back to school. On the screen are today's shout outs. If you guys also would like a shout out, just subscribe, turn your notifications on, and be the first 20 people to comment hashtag notification squad on my video. I'm super excited to review the fidget toys, so now let's start. The first fidget toy I'll be reviewing are these neon monkey noodles. So one's pink, yellow, and purple. So first off, just look how cute they look. I just love the bright colors. So basically how you play with them is you stretch them, then you kind of like wiggle them and stuff. These monkey noodles make no noise at all and aren't too distracting while still being like so fun to play with. I could definitely imagine playing with this fidget while like studying, reading, or like doing your homework, and literally nobody would notice at all. This fidget is a 9 out of 10 and would definitely recommend bringing to school. Next up, we have this purple pop tube. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear how loud that was? Um, I think you guys can already tell what my answer will be. No, definitely do not bring this to school. Literally, all this pop tube does is just make noise, and that's pretty much the whole fidget. Not gonna lie, this fidget should be my new alarm clock. Would attract the whole class to you, and the teacher would snatch the pop tube out of your hands in a... So I'm definitely rating this fidget a 1 out of 10. Do not bring it to school. Next, we have a super colorful pineapple pop -it. There's even like mini pineapples engraved on it. Like, do you see that? It's so, so pretty. I think this fidget would be pretty great to bring back to school because you could like fidget with it while you're reading. It doesn't make too much noise, but it kind of depends on what type of pop -it you have. This pineapple pop -it does have some like pretty loud pops. But it literally takes my breath away because of how gorgeous it looks, which actually, now that I think of it, could be pretty distracting. So I'm going to rate the pineapple a 7 out of 10. Next up, we have this textured Orby stress ball. So it has these, like, like colorful Orbeez inside, like, kind of all colors of the rainbow. It is super fun to squish, and it makes, like, pretty much no, no noise at all. I'd also say that these stress balls are one of the best stress relieving fidgets because they might like really help when you're taking a test or something to calm you down. The only issue I have is if it pops, because if it does pop, then you're pretty much screwed. Like imagine all of these Orbeez like scattered all over your desk and the paperwork and all that. But other than that, I would definitely recommend bringing this fidget to school. It is super stress relieving. So a nine out of 10 for me. Next up, we have this icy blue, like, jelly slime. Oh, wow. Um, oh, damn. Oh, oh, my gosh. This is already so messy. You can expect what would happen if you brought this to school. Like, look at my table. Um, all the snow literally just fell out. So that's not that great. It is very satisfying to play with and it's really holdable. I would say it is pretty distracting because you wouldn't really like play with this while doing your homework. Speaking of doing your homework, let's say you're doing your homework right here. Do, 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 and, and then it literally falls on your homework. It's literally stuck. And now you can't even hand in your worksheet because it's covered in slime. Plus, the slime itself is literally ruined, too, since it got stuck. I would highly recommend not bringing this to school. I'd say just, like, leave it at home, and then when you come back from school, you could, like, play it at home. The next widget I have is this super neat yellow marble mesh. So you, like, slide the marble around, and as you can hear, it makes absolutely no noise. It's also my hand size, so I can be like playing with it in one hand and then do my worksheet in the other, which means other teachers and classmates won't notice because it's pretty small. A little fun fact, 
a few years ago at my school, my teacher actually had a whole bin filled with these marble meshes. So then we could be able to use them like when we're doing our worksheets, homework, or like when doing a test because it helped us focus better. So that literally shows that some teachers actually approve these marble meshes. So I would 100% recommend bringing these marble meshes to school. Next, I have this pink fidget cube. So there's like six sides I could fidget with. This one, this, this, and this. So it's like super fun. It's just that the clicky noises are a bit too loud, but I don't think anybody would notice. So what I would do, cover my hand over the fidget cube and then like play with it underneath my hand. That way people won't see you playing with the fidget cube. Overall, I think this fidget is pretty good, but it's kind of like decent, I guess. So I would only like use it during lunch recess because the noises I think are a bit too loud. Next, I have this super adorable baby pink cat mochi. <gasps> Look how cute it is, it's like sleeping. It's literally so satisfying. It's also so tiny. I feel like nobody would even notice that you're playing with this. You could play with this while doing a test or pretty much literally like whatever because it makes zero noise and it's just so small, nobody would even notice. This mochi is so amazing. Plus, it's just so cute. I'm definitely rating this a 10 out of 10. Definitely would bring this to school. Literally when school starts, I am I'm packing my backpack with this super cute mochi. And last but not least, we have this pretty big butterfly simple dimple. So I just said it, it's like huge. So it's an automatic kind of like no. So I don't think I would bring this to school. The pops are kind of loud. It is literally huge. Like, look at this. It's bigger than both of my hands. I know my hands are kind of small, but like, seriously, it's huge. And also, I'd say it's pretty distracting. You also could hang this on your backpack. So maybe when you're, on, when you're on the bus, you could maybe fidget with it. But I don't think I would really bring this to school. It's way too big and distracting, even though it is really fun to play with. So overall, the fidgets that I would recommend bringing the most to school is the, Orbe the textured Orbeez stress ball or pretty much any fidget ball the marble mesh because it's like makes no noise at all and it's super fun to fidget with the monkey noodles and definitely the mochi the marble mesh is like one of my favorite fidgets and it's just like it's super quiet not distracting and it's mini and definitely the fidget that i would least recommend bringing to school is definitely the slime and the pop tube like seriously like listen to this that is so loud. Like I would literally wake up my whole family just by like popping this. Seriously, I would, no, like definitely not bring this to school. And the slime, I literally put it away. I didn't put it in the scene right now because it got all over my table and it's like all over the container. So imagine that slime on your desk. Yeah, not the best experience, so yeah and yeah guys that was the video i really hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below if you want a part two like subscribe if you want to bye